Hey, how's it going guys? Zerai here. So we finally got the trophies revealed for the Stellar Blade. They are 43 trophies in total. 1 Platinum, 3 Gold, 12 Silver and 27 Bronze. Before I proceed going into the individual trophies, I want to make sure that you know that there may be some spoilers ahead. So let's get into the first trophy, Eve Protocol, acquiring all of the trophies. Next up, Camp Preparation, activated the first camp. Hidden Story Trophy is by defeating the first boss. Hidden Story Trophy 2 by defeating boss 2. Hidden Story Trophy defeating boss 3. Hidden Story Trophy defeating boss 4. Hidden Story Trophy retrieved the hypercell from the boss 5. Hidden Story Trophy defeated boss 6. Hidden Story Trophy 7 defeating, the, of course, boss, well, 7. Next up, as usual, <laughs> Hidden Story Trophy for the Trophy 8, defeating the boss 8, Hidden Story Trophy 9, defeating the boss 9, Hidden Story Trophy 10, re retrieved the Hypercell from the boss 10, Hidden Story Trophy 11, defeating the boss 11, Hidden Story Trophy 12, defeating boss 12, Hidden Story Trophy 13, defeating boss 13, Hidden Story Trophy 14, defeating boss 14. All the boss trophies that I just went through are based on story and they were bronze trophies. Next up, few of the gold trophies, return to the colony, achieved return to the colony ending, cost of the lost memories is a gold trophy again, achieved cost of lost memories ending, making new memories, achieved making new memories ending. Here are some of the silver trophies, can collector, collecting all cans, nano suit collector, acquired 30 nano suits, Records collector collected 200 data banked entries, memory sticks, documents, or passcodes. Lonely fisherman caught 20 different fish. Box hunter opened 200 boxes. Nyatiba researcher got information on all Nyatibas. Meticulous explorer activated all camps. Perfect exospine enhanced 10 exospines to their max. Perfect blood edge enhanced blood edge to its max. Perfect rechargeable tumbler exchanged the rechargeable tumbler to its max. Perfect physical enchantment enhanced HP to its max. Perfect beta energy enhancement enhanced beta energy to its max. Thorough technician learned all skills. Here's some of the silver as well. Beyond Fate completed Anya and Sue's story. Sisterly Love completed Kaya's story. Beep completed D1G story. Battlefield Martial Artist with Bronze Trophy. Perfect dodged 200 enemy attacks. Agile Gladiator perfect parried 300 enemy attacks. Silent Executioner defeated 50 enemies by execution. Nyatiba Hunter defeated 100 enemies with beta skills. Relentless Destroyer defeated 50 enemies with burst skills. Revenging Agent defeated 50 enemies in Tachi mode. Cold Blooded Sniper defeated 150 enemies with ranged attacks. And last trophy, Cruel Liberator defeated 1500 enemies. So going by all these trophies, yes, seems like there's quite a few bit of story spoilers in extent. For example, that there will be three different endings that you can complete, and in fact you will have to complete for the Platinum Trophy. There's a whole lot of boss battles and trophies to get, meaning that going through the story, well, a lot of times in different chapters you will be facing quite a lot of bosses. There's a very, very large quantities of collectibles requirement. For example, getting all of the cans, Naitiba's infos, unlocking all of the camps as well, 30 nano suits, catching 20 different fishes, opening 200 boxes, 200 data bank entries, such as mentioned memory sticks, documents, or even passcodes. Maxing out 10 exospines, the blood edge, rechargeable tumbler, HP, and beta energy. So by also learning all of the skills and completing the side objectives for the characters, storylines is needed as well. Some of the extra trophies are related to the combat tasks by defeating specific amount of enemies as well in a different variety of ways. And it seems like there's gonna be no difficulty related trophies, so this platinum shouldn't be too difficult. But nevertheless, it is going to be quite, quite grindy, since it asks you pretty much for 100% completion. So what do you think about all this and, you know, just how much tasks involves you to go through just to get the Platinum Trophy for Stellar Blade? 
personally for me, I really have enjoyed what I played and I'm definitely gonna be picking it up. Now, I'm still a little bit contemplating if I want to go for the Platinum, but at this point, 80% of me is saying yes, I do. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. I see you guys all and have a wonderful day.